Hey everyone, it's me, Jazzy Mac. Welcome back to my channel. Now, a lot of you have been coming back to me telling me that you've watched my previous videos and that you have published your low content journals, the ones that don't have anything written on the inside that you publish on Amazon. And a lot of you are doing really, really well. Some of you have started to hit the $100 mark um, after just a few days. Some of you have been doing it for a couple of months and you have started getting into to the two, three, four, five thousand dollar a month per range. And I'm so excited that you are hitting those numbers. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I did a bunch of videos around how to make money on Amazon um, by designing books, even if you're not like a designer, um, because there's this software called BookBolt where they basically do all of the work for you. Um, they provide all of the images for you and you know, just make it super easy for you to um design things like composition notebooks, journals, um, you can do activity puzzles for kids. And it's so great that a lot of you have started publishing those, but a lot of you are also saying, wait, Jazzy, I did it, but I'm not getting any sales. Why am I not getting sales like the other people that did it? So in this video, I want to break down how to market your journals, how to sell them, and how not to get your account terminated. So let's hop right in. Now, when it comes to uh, marketing your journals, a lot of people think that you just simply create the journal, you upload it, and then it's gonna start flying off the shelf. And I'm just here to tell you that that is never something that I told you because it's not realistic. You still have to put in the footwork um, or the legwork rather to start getting the journals to have traction on Amazon. Now, once that traction picks up, then yeah, there's going to be more of an organic audience that starts to view your journals, but the way that you just generally get it started. Um, and I also want to point out that BookBolt has like these spy tools. So you can see how much other people are making from the journals and what kind of journals they're making. Um, if you just want ideas for inspiration, um, they also have like SEO tools to help you um, basically write descriptions and like um, to help you properly title your book so that that it has more of an organic sort of um, appearance um, on the Amazon platform. So it makes it easier for people to find your journals. So if you're not using those SEO tools, which are free for you to use, if you have the Bolt Bolt um, monthly membership, which is only like 10 bucks per month, if you're not using those tools, like you're leaving thousands of dollars on the table. Like they're giving you all of the tools that you need to sell these uh, low content books um, and to sell to a bigger audience. But some of the easier things that you can do once you publish your low content books is first and foremost, share it with your friends and family. You definitely want to have like word of mouth be the very first way for you to market these low content books, simply because your friends and your family will be the people that will support you and buy it. And what you want them to do is leave reviews. That's how you get more sales when you have actual reviews. Think about it. Do you go on Amazon and buy any product that you can't read the reviews on? Like even if it's a well-known product, you're going to still go with the person or the company that has like actual reviews linked to it that you can kind of like read through. So even if you've only got four or five reviews from your friends or your coworkers or people at your church, it doesn't really matter as long as you have something. Now, once you start getting reviews, then your um, your journal will actually start to rank higher. So that's just one of the things that people aren't doing that's like costing them just so much money in sales and revenue that they're just like, you know, I guess overlooking. So make sure that you have this organic um, review system with people that you know. Also share it on social media. Um, if you blog, if you post on Facebook every single day, you should be saying, hey, audience on Facebook or Instagram, I've got this really cute low content journal or this really cute composition notebook. Come and check it out. You know, support your girl and let me know what you think of it and leave me a review. There is no reason why you should not be using social media to make more money. 
Again, once you start to get sales and you start getting reviews, you rank higher and then people that are already browsing on Amazon will start to more organically see the low content journals that you have, you know, published out there. So it's helping it to get in front of a bigger audience once you get the traction kind of moving. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, Again, SEO is powerful. How you do your descriptions and how you word your descriptions is going to also be powerful in helping you rank higher so more people can see the content that you publish. So make sure that when you write the description of your low content journals or your notebooks, don't just put notebook. You want to go as far as saying composition notebook for young children or composition notebook for middle schoolers, or it could be uh, journals for young girls and teenagers, um, or you can make it a seasonal thing. You could say, here is a Christmas journal for young girls and boys, something that like aligns with what people are currently searching for. So if you want to put out a journal for like, Valentine's Day, or if you wanted to do an activity puzzle book um, for St. Patrick's Day or something like that, you could very well create it now so that it can start indexing so that once March gets here or February, when people start looking at um, those types of things on Amazon, you're already kind of like in that little, you know, you're ranking because you're indexing it and you're adding those powerful SEO keywords. And again, you can get help with that um, inside the book bolt portal. Um, and the link is going to be down below in the description box. If you guys want to sign up, they do have like a free trial so you can try it or whatever. But, you know, these are just powerful tools that you're able to use to help you make more sales. Um, the other thing that I want to really emphasize with these books and why people may not be making money from them is you want to make sure that you're not like copywriting. So please don't just pull random images off of Google. You know, don't like just copy an image from somebody else's journal because those sorts of things will get your account terminated. And you have to understand that there is an actual human that reviews your journals prior to them being published. So if there's any type of like copyright infringement or if you're using um, some commercial images that you don't have like the license for that you haven't paid for a license for, you will get your account terminated. Um, other ways to get your account terminated are like having a misleading title, or description. So if you put that you're creating a journal, but you're really creating like, you know, this erotic sort of comic book or something like that, then that would be considered like a misleading title or a misleading description in which Amazon will terminate your account. Now, it is super hard to get your account back if it's terminated. It's not impossible. I've seen it happen before. Um, they don't really want like a sob story or anything. If your account gets terminated, they kind of just want you to acknowledge that you, you know, uploaded an image that was not, you know, licensed or something like that, or that you had a misleading title, you understand it and you want to move forward. So that is generally um, what some of the people that I've talked to have said, you know, when their accounts got terminated, um, it was kind of like a lengthy process to get it back, but they got it back. Um, but that is going to be in general, some of the biggest things that you want to be mindful of as you publish these journals. And again, spy on people, see how much, like look up a really popular journal on Amazon, look up a manifestation journal and look at the top performing journal. Um, the one that's at the very top of the search results, click on that journal using the little book book bolt plugin, click on that journal and you'll see how many sales that person got this month. You'll see how much they made over the lifetime of that book and look at that and use it as a way of like, you know, just kind of inspiration to say, oh, this is what people are looking for or this is what people are interested in. So that could give you inspiration to make something prettier or, you know, to just make like, what they call like a better mousetrap, right? Um, again, not like copy, you know, pasting anybody else's descriptions because that can also get your account terminated. 
but just understanding what the competition is doing. Like this isn't hard. And a lot of people will look at me and say, Jazzy, you're just saying that because you have a YouTube and you've got an audience. And I'm saying, no, I'm that same girl that sold $100,000 in eBooks over four months. And I really didn't have that much of an audience. I just remained consistent with creating content and asking friends and family to share it with people like that organic sort of growth is really, really what propelled me when it came to my personal like eBooks. So um, that's something for you to be mindful of when, you know, when you're talking about an eBook or, you know, you're talking about low content journals, things of that nature, you have to do the work in the beginning. You can't just put it out there and then it flies off the shelves. Like you have to like help it fly off the shelves a little bit. And once it gets that traction, then it becomes completely passive because at this point, I don't have to even tell people People that I have digital products, um, you know, they're just like out there now and people tell other people about them. And so I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you publish a journal um, or an activity book. Definitely check out my previous book bolt videos because I do a step by step where I show you exactly how to create like these little activity books. And some of them you can create in like five minutes. Like seriously, you can create a coloring book in five minutes and put it on Amazon. I've done several videos on it. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye.